Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today we are doing a flip through and a plan with me using the brand new Spring Florals sticker book by Kell of a Plan. This sticker book releases on Friday, February 18th. And what's super special about this release is I will actually be at Heather's when this releases. I am going to be flying out to her um, Wednesday the 16th and staying through the weekend. So I might package some orders. We'll see. But I'm really excited about this sticker book. I know it's only February, but spring is coming. So let's take a look. We have 517 stickers for your planner. Spring is such a beautiful season. The growth, rebirth, and overall joy that comes in springtime is the best. I hope these spring floral stickers help you to plan a life you love this spring. XOXO Heather. All right, so we have some really gorgeous bright boxes here and it looks like these come go along with a watercolor print. And we know that I love all the boxes and the bullets. Really pretty. I like these open boxes here. And of course, a nice big long sidebar. And then these, look how pretty they are. These are on clear sticker paper and I love the long ones. And then we've got some corner ones too where you could put a box here or a quote or something like that. And oh, even more. So there's three pages of these florals. The next set has tulips. How pretty are these? I'm also going to be planning with these stickers in this flip through. Ooh, this is really cool. I don't know if you can see that like texture. Yeah, you can, that like texture right there. Oops. And I love this. It's like a burst of the flowers coming out and this really pretty sidebar. And then these are the tulips. So they're huge, but then there's also some smaller ones that are going to be really gorgeous in your planner. And we have the yellow and purple and just these yellows. Like imagine these at the bottom. And again, the purple and pink and the purple and yellow. Now I like these a little bit more jewel tone also. I'm not, we know I'm not great at naming stickers. Oh, but these are for Easter. Look at this little chick. Very cute. I love this though, this color, like really deep purple. And then the watercolors that go along with them. It's like screams spring. It's snowy here today and I can't wait for spring. These eggs, and they all just look so beautifully painted delicately. Oh, these chicks with the flower. Look at it's in his mouth. The butterflies too. Okay, and now like a combination of pastel and deeper tones. Can't seem to flip this. Here we go. All right, so I know that there, I think, there's daisies, maybe hydrangeas in here, or like hyacinth, is that is that the right name? So these are really pretty pastels too. Look how gorgeous. Heather chooses the prettiest artwork for these. There's so many colors in here. Okay, really pretty. And then we've got the bright pops. Sorry about the sound you're hearing back there with my, my stand but these bright pops of color are so much fun. I can already envision the spreads that I can make with these. And as a reminder, this releases on, oh, look at these long ones. Oh, perfect. These are perfect for my big planner. On February 18th, 10 a.m. Central, if you go to the website before then, oh my goodness. And they're saying sold out. They're not sold out yet. They just haven't been stocked yet and released. These are so pretty. Okay, let's plan. So I've been wanting to try out a vertical layout. And I happen to have one because of, I'm just looking at when spring begins, March 20th, um, because it was sent to me as part of being on squad. So this will be the first full, I'm sorry, we need to go up a little bit, don't I? Yep. This week here will be the first full week of spring. So this is the perfect time to do it. So let me get these pages off the discs. I really like those clear discs. And 
I'm gonna try a vertical layout. We're gonna see how it goes. So I have spring florals here. I also grabbed Rainbow Basics by Calivo Plan because there are so many basic stickers that go along perfectly here. I could use, I wasn't originally thinking I was going to use this set, but I love how bright it is. Let's see. I just wanna make sure that I'll have a sticker to go along with one of the colors here because of a plan I have. So we do have that green. Oh, but now I'm trying to decide, do I use these or do I use, I was originally going to use the tulips. I think we're gonna try these out. Why not? So, changing my plan. All right, now, What's fun about the vertical layout, I think, or lined vertical, we're gonna wanna cover up some of these lines, is that there's a lot you can do with it to customize it. So let's see, we'll cover up these lines. I hope that's long enough. Let me see. Um, it might not be, we're gonna try. No, oh, I mean, I think Hmm, I guess I could do a little bit more. Oops, there we go. Okay, I've never planned in this layout before, but we're gonna give it a try. And then I'm just gonna trim off this edge here. All right. Now let's do the other side, but first I'm going to do the line. So where were we like about here? And what I also really like about the line layout or line vertical is that the lines are already there for you. And we know how I am with checklists and bullets in my planner. So I find this really helpful to already have the lines, the lines down. All right, now this should fill oops, this entire side or we're going to be a teeny tiny bit short, but I really think it's okay. All right, so the stickers are done. All right, now, sorry, I can't get my words together. This also could have been used because this is longer and this would have fit, but it's not going to bother me. All right, now I wanna bring in these boxes. And I think that they'll be perfect for here. They're not the exact same size, so let me show you. The vertical box is two lines longer than the box that they give you here with this shaded layout. However, with the use of with having boxes and having lines, I don't necessarily think that um, losing these two lines is going to be a big deal. But what I'm going to kind of do is just play around with these stickers, starting each day with a box. And this might be a bill to pay. This might be noting someone's birthday. I'm back there like that. It might be the book that I'm reading or the weather that day or something fun that happened. You don't necessarily always need to know what is going to go in a box before you place that box. It can just be fun to sort of fill it in as time goes on. And if you're someone who really loves decorating your planner and you really want to decorate it beforehand, but you don't know what your plans are, it's okay because the basics for me in creating a planner spread are usually some sort of decoration like these florals, a quote, a box, um, and some sort of bullet or checklist. And that's what will make a spread functional for me. So I want to stick with only the non-decorated boxes, I think for now. Let me see. I don't know that this purple will be perfect, but I don't know that it's imperfect either. So we're, we're gonna go for it. 
And then I want one more green one. So I am gonna pull back from Rainbow Basics. Okay. I actually really love how this looks and honestly, that could be enough for me, but it's not going to be. We're gonna do more. So grab my tweezers. And I think that what's fun here is that you could incorporate, where are the checklists that come from this? So there are checklists here. Let's see how they line up to the lines. I'm not gonna use this green one. I'm not gonna put it down, but I just wanna see. Okay. They could, they're there. Um, they're not a perfect match, but I don't really think you need for there to be. So let's look at these. These are going to be about two, like almost in between two. So that's kind of what those will look like for that. So Mondays, I do usually have a bigger to-do list because Mondays are my payday and there's more that needs to get done. So I think that I might bring in another box, whoops, over here. I don't know that I wanna put more boxes in though. Hmm, I mean, I, like this could be enough, but I feel like it's not enough for the video. So we're going to bring in some bullets. I might cut these bullets in half. Then they take up a little bit less space on the page. And I think that that looks better. But I want to look for another sticker book. So I will be right back. Okay, we know I love a quote and we know I love a Calvin Plan black quote. So I'm bringing out neutral florals. So I like the idea to bring in some of these a little bit down like down here where we can go a little bit lower. Oops, I got that down wrinkled, but we're just gonna go with it, make it happen. And then let's maybe take another one. Um, attitude is everything. But we're gonna cover up this line, whoops, a little bit. All right, now what this does is adds a little pop of, pop of a quote <laughs> in here for me, but um, it also helps fill in some of the space. So I wanna bring some more of these bullets. So I just sliced them in half with my scissor on the sticker, in the sticker book itself. Oops, and then what's going on here? Come on, sticker. Ah, uh, we might be ruining this sticker. I love these tweezers, but sometimes they're a little bit too sharp for the stickers, and that can be a problem. And there's still plenty of room to write. So I was originally thinking that maybe these were all gonna go, unless I just do the same, home. now I'm like changing my mind. The other option, is using the same colors all the way down, which I think might be better. So let's try that. And I might fast forward this part because I think it could get a little bit long. Yeah, I think this might be just a cleaner look if I could actually get these down, but I don't want you to have to suffer through it. So we're gonna speed this part up. Okay, I have to tell you, I love this spread. I think that it came out really, really pretty. I wanna put it on my black discs for a second just to see how it looks with the black because I feel like it's gonna look really good because of the black quotes. I think that that looks so pretty. I love the bright pops of color. I think that these boxes up here are really, really fun. So I'm so excited for this sticker book and I hope you are too. Remember this releases on February 18th. 
And if you comment on this video, when you purchase it, maybe I'll go ahead and pack your order and leave a fun note in there too. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time.